Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Hancher. I'm a member at St. George's, and we're trying something new uh, and inviting all our Sunday school leaders to come on and talk to us about what we're doing this fall in our in our adult education classes. I say this fall, but I know that uh, that Patty Morrow is, is talking to us today, and she's been ha hosting this class for a few years now. How, how long have you been hosting your class? And tell us a little bit about it. I came to St. George in the fall of 2001, I think. And I've been teaching some version of my adult biblical studies class since then. That's wonderful. And you said that we're, you're, the name of your class is Catharsis, the, yes. the Catharsis class. And tell us a little bit about, you know, where that came from and what it means. Well, um, even before Nancy Shepard left, uh, she came and asked, did my class have a, a name? So I talked to my students about it and several were suggested. Um, adult biblical studies class was a little long. And so somebody came up with, I don't remember who, somebody came up with catharsis and it means to purge the bad out and put the good in. And that's kind of in sort of a uh, unsophisticated way. That's kind of what we do in my class. We um, study individual books of the Bible and we don't use a secondary text. Um, we do a close read. Every Sunday we read a chapter or two and then discuss what's in those chapters. Uh, we um, uh, re refer to anything that those chapters bring up about other stories in the Bible, books of the Bible, where, especially in the Christian scriptures, where um, the, an author uses his knowledge of especially Hebrew scriptures to bring forward. For example, this is very quick. The Gospel of Matthew, the author of the Gospel of Matthew presents Jesus as the new Moses. And there are, um, like the Torah has five books, there are five blocks of teaching. The most, uh, the one that we're most familiar with are uh, the Beatitudes in, in Matthew. And so that's the sort of thing that we refer back and forth between one set of our scriptures, the Hebrew scriptures, and another set, the Christian scriptures. Well, it sounds like quite a um, sort of an educational Bible study, like real, you know, in-depth study. And it, and it sounds like you've got a, a, a good group of people there. And I know you're looking for more people. And can anybody just kind of come and go out of your class? Or, or is it, I mean, it, no, I don't want to say we want anybody that wants to come. And I have a master's in divinity from Candler School of Theology at Emory University. My really favorite uh, classes when I was in seminary were biblical studies. And so this is a passion for me. Uh, I want people in the pews to have an in-depth knowledge of scripture. We approach the studies our studies of scripture from a, a historical and literary um, viewpoint. This is, these are kind of basic, particularly history. This is kind of basic uh, Bible study, but we welcome anybody. Um, anybody from graduated from high school on. Um, we tend to be a, an older group, um, but we're, we're open to anybody. Well, that's that's really, really fascinating. I know that uh, I've gone by your classroom many m Sunday mornings and seen you guys in a very thoughtful and not serious conversation. But, you know, it's 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 not all I mean, every Sunday school class has some, uh, you know, social aspects aspects oh, to yeah. it. And we're and we're all kind of like enjoy being with each other. And there's fellowship there, I'm sure. So 
Um, tell us when and uh, where you meet. So anybody that kind of comes in the church may not be super familiar with the layout. Tell us how to come into your class. If you come in by the um, church office, go up the stairs or the ramp, go to the end of that hall past the nursery, turn left. The first door on the right are the stairs that go downstairs to the um, uh, fellowship hall. The next door on the right is my classroom. And you're right, Josh, We it is a very loving group of people. We've been together through serious illnesses, deaths, um, and our support and love for each other is what keeps all of us together. Um, we do have in-depth discussions, but we laugh a lot and um, we're not, we're not just eggheady. We we do enjoy what we're doing. I think a lot of people don't see the humor in scripture, but I try to point it out. Um, we start at 930 because we do read a chapter or two and then we discuss. And that gives people a little time to drift in if they're not exactly on time, which is fine. And then gives us time to read and then time to discuss. And we're out by about 1045. So we're a little more than an hour. I've got some dogs barking in the background. They're excited for your class. Um, I, love, I, mean, I, I love dogs. <laughs> um, I think also, I mean, when you're talking about scripture and stuff, we're going to figure out a way to maybe, you know, link some scripture. So on the website, maybe keep, so if you're, if you miss a week, whatever, you can stay in touch. So we're this, uh, Patty, I also wanted to say anybody that's interested, you know, Patty put together a, a, a beautiful podcast for us last year that I'm sure not sure that everybody knows about. You can find links to that on the website. Um, and Patty, I love how you've just jumped in and helped and been so enthusiastic to sort of reach out through the uh, internet here and c connect. And hopefully we'll have some people come join you in class. Um, so yes, please uh, go to the church website, find us. We're in Griffin, Georgia. Um, and Patty's class is just right up the ramp and to the left, to the right, just like you said, on 930 on Sunday mornings. And is there anything else you would like to add before we, uh, bef before we close this video out, Patty? I am eager for St. George to reach out as much as we can uh, electronically. I'm so impressed with what you do for St. George, Josh. Um, anything I can help with or do, I'm not very technological, but I'm talking is the thing I can do. <laughs> so thanks very much for asking me to come and have this little uh, presentation of my class. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, guys. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in church. I'll be back. I hope the 10th, maybe the 17th. All right. We, I guess we should add that the Sunday school starts back um, at 930 uh, sometime in mid-September. So thank you, guys, yeah. and look forward to seeing you in church. All right.